Hi everyone, Cynthia Maddy here. I'm just going to touch on a very quick topic and be on my way real soon. Last week, a friend of mine sent me a video that happened to be trending in the Nigerian cyberspace. So she had sent me this video with the intent to maybe amuse me, I don't know. But this video had to do with a lady by, who goes by the name Monica. Monica Ambrose, I think. So I watched it. And believe me, I didn't find the video amusing at all. At all. I did not find the video amusing. And I decided to go, just go through, you know, just browse through the comment section. And oh boy, did Nigerians not disappoint me with their nasty, vile, obnoxious comments. Well, a highlight of some of the insults that were rained her way were where is your husband, how come he's letting you do this, stop disgracing your family, go back to the hole you crawled out from. Um, for the ones who felt they had good intentions, if they said to her, if God is directing you, go and pray. Um, some said, you're a disgrace, you can't even speak English, no, 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 we are not going to vote for you. You are not even a right candidate. You are not the desired candidate or you did not or you do not fall into the category of someone we want as a president in Nigeria. And I was able to pick out amongst other things a sincerity of purpose. And part of the reason why Nigeria is the way it is today, part of the reason why Nigeria has ground to a halt, part of the reason why the economy and the people are the way we are, the reason why we have not moved forward in significant measure is because of only one thing, our attitude. So this lady, Monica Ambrose, um, declared her intent to run for the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And she claimed to have lived in Netherlands for 17 years and had learned a lot, which she wanted to export or import back home, you know, um, in order to move the country or to help move the country forward. And a lot of people ethered her, um, claiming that her English was not polished enough. Yes, maybe um monica's english had a lot to be desired here who doesn't have um to brush up their skills from time to time a lot of people attacked her and said if after 17 years in netherlands she spoke the way she did then she was unqualified to run for as the presidential candidate you see what these ignorant people fail to understand is that english is not the official language in netherlands i mean nigerians haven't we had enough of all those people who have good english to offer nigeria and nothing else people who claim to have gone to ivy ivy league schools harvard and the rest of them plus the one way be, be original certificates or plus the ones will be fake certificates or the Oluwole printed i mean haven't we seen e more than enough uh, politicians and their special advisors claiming to have gone through ivy league schools and yet the impact of the knowledge they were supposed to have imported from these schools do not translate into strategic ex expertise that w is required to move the country forward nigerians i think we have gone past the stage where we have to um hinge the quality of a, a, a service to a school someone's gone to or attended I think it is time for us to focus more on what someone has up here and not what they claim to have on paper. It is very clear and glaring that based on the condemnation that Monica Ambrose received from the video that she put out, Nigerians are not ready for change. I'm not talking about the deceptive APC change. No, I'm talking about real change, real leadership. It's time for us to begin to do uncommon things if we want to see uncommon results out that video. She did, she wasn't asking for your advice or what you thought about her intent to run for office. She only asked that Nigerians in the diaspora and in Nigeria should support her intentions. Gosh, do Nigerians know how to tear a person down? And 
half the message that she communicated in that message were lost because people were focused more on her delivery and her spoken english than what she was actually bringing to the table typing all kinds of things typing out their frustrations because they listen not with their ears but with their hands to type out their frustration on anyone they see on social media who they think who they see in position that they would long to be in isn't it time that Nigeria breaks away from being bamboozled by career politicians? Isn't it time for us to start looking for leadership in the most unlikely places? Nigerians, Adi Askuna, isn't it time for us to stop mistaking spoken English for service delivery or competence? Isn't it time for us to get rid of the people who negotiate our destinies as Nigerians but give the impression that they are helping the nation, people who ensure that the, 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 the treasures of the country is sold to them for almost nothing because they promise employment in exchange, people who want to cripple this country and ensure that this country keeps being in stagnation because they benefit from it. Isn't it time for us to get rid of those people who during elections know where you live? hand you monies in in bags ask you to share amongst you your peers and the people you influence only for them to change their numbers and make themselves inaccessible to you once election is over when are we going to learn our people say they're not a deceiver shower fuck two times it is an adage okay do not translate it literally but from where i am from we use a whole lot of proverbial uh, 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 parlance to communicate our message when are we going to realize that there are over 180 million powerful people in the country and that the country does not have to have two political parties two great champions the APCs and the PDPs why do we think that neutral parties can't spring up isn't it time for us to begin to support our own people who pass through what you and I pass through. People who have been tested integrity wise in the various sectors, private, that they represent. People with character and integrity, not career politicians, not recycled old men. Whom when I was a child were old men and even now that I'm becoming old an older dying man people who cling onto power even at the expense of their lives Nigerians when are we going to ask ourselves the question I am not saying that Monica Ambrose is the best we can come up with as far as presidential candidate for the 2019 election goes but I'm saying isn't it time for us to begin to look in the most uncommon places i would rather vote a monica ambrose and her genuine intention than any recycled used up washed up nigerian politicians because if these people collectively brought this country to her knees they cannot salvage this country nigerians when are we going to channel our egg bear when jaisim towards the right direction such that we stop fighting you and I and we, we stop fighting messengers of the messages that you are too cowardly to put out there. When are we going to see the messengers as not our enemies but the political class and the people who actually rob from me and you? Just because person get guts and balls where you no get, you they attack the person because you see the person for social media and you feel tight. But the main person where they chop you, they make sure, say, you struggle for many years and for the most part of your life. When you see them, you hail them. Nigerians, when are we going to receive sense? This lady, Monica Ambrose, came out and declared her intentions. Whether she was joking, whether she was serious, the point I'm trying to make is it is time for us to start searching uncommon places in order for us to achieve uncommon results it is time for us to, us to stop looking down on each other and stop expecting that the person who is going to take nigeria out of this mess should look a certain way talk a certain way act a certain way tell you what you want to hear because that is why we are still in this mess and this circle that we have found ourselves on that note I will say see you on my next vlog please feel free to drop your comments get your con your constructive 
criticism is welcome not all those insults that people pass when they're unable and lack the ability to put forward their arguments they resort to insults on the internet as if your insult is going to stop the person's life from moving forward or your insult is going to stop the person from thinking my people i go see una let me go carry on with my day egbe wenjas oh yeah una no say na only one thing one nasabi do to the insult person over to you